Okay, so after I've got my 3D cube, which is 100 by 100 by 100, I can start to introduce some features to it. So let's say I want to make it into something that resembles a dice. So up in the top corner, again, I've got these features, and I'm going to click on the fillet tool. So at this point, if you just highlight, if you just click over it, or hi sorry, drag your mouse over it, it'll tell you what the tool actually does. So the fillet tool, you can just see it adds a little round or a radius to the surface. So if I click on fillet, I can then select either the edges or the entire face that I would like to fillet. So I'm just going to, just to demonstrate, I'm just going to fillet the top edge and I can give it a value, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a greater value, let's try 10. And I can rotate it around by right clicking on my mouse button and clicking on the bottom uh, surface and press green tick. So you'll now see a fillet has been added to my feature tree. To bring this back into an orientation that I'm familiar with, I'm going to click on isometric and you'll see I've now got an isometric view. So I'm going to do a, another feature that's commonly used, maybe on phones, which is called a chamfer. So if I click on the chamfer, this time instead of clicking on the surface, I'm just going to click on the edge. So I'm going to click on that edge, I'm going to rotate it around. Click on that edge, rotate it around further. And rotate on the last edge. And I'm going to give that a value of, I tell you what, we'll leave it as 5. So if I press green tick, and now see what that looks like by going to isometric. On the top face, I've got these fillets, and then I've introduced these chamfers. Now, just like my sketch, when I could go back and edit, I can go back and edit these fillets. So, if I right-click and press edit, I can reduce the value of that fillet down to 5, press green tick, and you'll see that that updates automatically. So, a very different-looking product. So, that's the basics of fillets and chamfers.